At six, a woman is sent to jail for falsely claiming that she'd been raped, groomed, abused and trafficked by a gang. The judge says her story was complete fiction. 22-year-old Eleanor Wilson posted photos of herself on social media showing injuries she claimed had been inflicted on her. In fact, she'd inflicted them on herself with a hammer. She was caught on CCTV buying it. Outside court today, one of the men she falsely accused. I've got complex PTSD from it all. I've had mental health problems from it all. I've tried ending my life over it all. I couldn't have a bond with my son when he was first born because of it all. Also on the programme tonight, we look ahead at the Chancellor's budget tomorrow as new figures show wage rises are no longer accelerating. The neonatal nurse accused of the murder and attempted murder of babies. A court to hear how a consultant raised concerns with hospital bosses which were ignored. We'll report on why some well-known cough medicines sold behind the counter at pharmacies have been withdrawn from sale. And tens of thousands of people turn up for the opening day of Cheltenham. We'll bring you the latest on the horse racing action. The devastation left by the earthquake in Turkey. Now UK engineers fly out to help assess why so many buildings collapsed. And the public swimming pool that's being heated by a tiny data centre in Exmouth. And we ask how easy is it to buy illegal vapes on our high streets? I've just picked this up from a shop. Now, UK law limits vapes to be 2% nicotine. This vape is 5% nicotine. We're out with trading standards as they clamp down on counterfeit e-cigarettes. We don't know what's in it. We don't know whether it's got a lot of nicotine, a little nicotine. It's just a nasty, nasty, nasty product. We have a special report also coming up. A warning of little or no service on the tube tomorrow. Our correspondent Tom will talk us through all of this week's strikes. Plus, just why does this tree in Haringey need round-the-clock security? And can one of the greatest basketball players persuade more Londoners to shoot some hoops?